Alright, so we gotta find a way across. Let's just chop down this tree. Fuck you, tree. You're going down, buddy. I'm yelling timber. Ugh. You cut that tree, Henry. Oh, yeah. That is the best way to get across, let me tell you. Ugh. Don't you dare fall down. Thank God. Knowing Henry and his horrible luck, I was expecting him to fall right off the log and- Oh. I, I had a thought. Uh-oh. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Uh. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. That's illegal. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. I don't know where I am. Oh, alright. I want to use the axe on everything. Damn it. Damn you, Delilah. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the, oh, 50th time today. Oh, she said wait until she calls. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, I went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Um, well, that's a very good question. I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Are you okay? Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Oh, no. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your Flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? Flora of what? The Shoshone. It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, all right. It's right here. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Cottonwood tree. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Uh-huh. Radio me the moment you get there. I get it. She's being all sneaky sneaks. I gotcha. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize? No, no, I, I know, I know, I know. Top row, second from the left. I know, don't worry. Head was... to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Oh, God. Now I'm concerned. <laughs> I mean, I know she's just trying to, um... Essentially stay quiet about everything so that the guy doesn't know what we're talking about, but... At the same time, I'm like, I... I'm concerned. Yeah, I should probably put my wedding ring on. Come on, you're still married, Henry. Just because your wife, you know, can't remember you for the life of you, doesn't mean you can't remember her. Alright, so let's check my map. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Cotton... Oh, Cottonwood Creek is right by the scout camp. Actually, I think that's where I was headed when I ran into that weird snowmobile thing. Well... Honestly, first things first, I kind of want to check out a couple other things. Um, I want to check out the medicine wheel, and I also want to check out that cave. That uh, had the gate that I couldn't get through, but now that I have the axe, I can just smash through that, and it sounds like a very... Oh, burped a little bit. Very, very good idea. In my mind, at least. So let's, let's get a move on on that, I suppose. Check the map again, just make sure I know where I'm going. So, Medicine Wheel is the other way, and the cave is north. Oh boy, alright. I'm going in different directions. Well, 
The medicine wheel is sort of on the way to Cottonwood Creek, so I'll just head to the cave first. I think that's a, a fairly decent idea. Alright, here we are. Made it back to the cave. Oops, gotta drop down here. Yep. Ugh. It's really goddamn dark in here. It looks locked. Oh. I thought I could use the axe to break it down. I don't know why. I thought I could use the axe. Never mind. I was wrong. I thought I had a lock on it like the other gate did and I could just break in there. Never mind. That was a waste of time. Alright, let's head to the medicine wheel then. Alright, so I just passed the, uh, the tower and I'm heading over to the medicine wheel. I'm kind of curious because... I mean, it's been here the entire 77 days but I never checked it out so I wonder... I wonder what's there. It is marked on my map after all. I don't know where I'm going. Um... Okay, I'm actually... I need to make sure I go the right way this time. I suppose the last time where I was supposed to go, you know, to the left and I went to the right and then I just didn't know where I was going and I got turned around and that was absolutely terrible. So let's not repeat that. Let's not get completely lost again. You know, just a little, little bit of an idea. It is really smoky out because of the, uh, the goddamn, the fire. It's crazy how smoky it is. How... I feel like this would just be bad for your lungs. Maybe it's just hazy out. But it just feels like there's smoke all throughout the air, and I don't like it. I really don't. I'm the fire watch, and here I am, just breathing in smoke. Probably gonna die. Not gonna lie. Probably going to die. Oh boy, are we... Oh, yep, yeah, we're, we're right here. <gasps> it's gonna be really disappointing. Just watch. Oh, there it is. The medicine wheel. All right, we made it, and there's nothing here. This is exactly what I thought would happen. All right, then. I guess let me get a, a move on. Let me head down to, to Cottonwood Creek. All right, wait, so got to head back east, then south, and then west again. Once I cross the river. Alright. Let's get a move on. Alright, I'm almost there. Just gotta head west from here. So, why does she want me to head there? Is there something... Is she... Oh, is Delilah gonna meet me? Ooh, am I finally gonna meet Delilah? I doubt it. I don't think she's ever gonna leave that tower of hers, frankly. It's a very ominous looking tree right there. I take it that's... Probably where I'm supposed to be. Oh yeah, I'm like right here at Cottonwood Creek. Alright. That's a big tree. Yeah, no. Look at that big ass tree right there. It's beautiful. But not really because it's dead. Oh. See, I saw a, a snowmobile before. Like two or three snowmobiles. And now I'm finding skis lying around. I mean, I guess in the winter it's probably covered in snow here. So there's probably like... People going skiing and snowmobiling and everything. I suppose. Go to Cottonwood Creek. Yeah, I'm, I'm here. She said to radio her once I got here. I'm like in the middle of the creek right now. <laughs> what more could she want from me? Alright, let's uh... Hey Delilah. You there? No? I heard something. Hello? Hello? I definitely heard something, otherwise I'm just going batshit insane as always. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. I'm in it. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. I saw it on the map. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. Oh! It's 5678. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. All right, if you say so. Five, six, seven, eight. Let me take a look at this map, copy the information. Let me see. It's just very dirty. It's just a very dirty map. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes. This is good. This is good. I've got it now. Good. I 
spent all day getting you that radio. Thank you. <laughs> I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm scared. Aww. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? <sighs> this is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. They're in on it. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. Oof. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Look, I'm headed back to the gate, and now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. Okie dokes. Will do. Hey. Uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Great. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Why'd you do that? Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. My thoughts exactly. Why did you lie? Our radios were tapped. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Damn it, Delilah. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. I told you to tell the truth. Oh, and those girls are still missing. I told you. Yep. Damn it. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. Ugh. We really need to get to the bottom of this. I told you we should tell the truth about this, but no, you didn't want to listen to me. God damn it, Delilah, why did you do this? Oh, I just- I told her we should tell the police the truth, because I- I mean, aside from destroying their radio, it's like... I didn't do anything. And yes, okay, maybe they'll give me a slap on the wrist for destruction of property, but it's like, hey, listen. If I fess up to that, they'll be like, oh, okay, he just destroyed their radio, he's good to go. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good to go, that is a seam in the world right there. The world is falling apart at the seams. Look at that. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Oh. oh fuck. How about you don't do that again? Fine, alright, fine. Be that way, Delilah. I'm sorry. Just reporting weird noises. Oh, god damn it. Way to be critical. Way to be critical. That's my job. Alright, we're here. Time to break in and see what the hell is going on, because I'm really concerned about all of this, frankly. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. <clears throat> there we go. Beautiful. <sighs> All right, time to investigate. Investigate, Wapiti Meadow. Hello. Oh, I'm really concerned about this. I really am. Oh boy, oh boy. Where do I go for that matter? It is almost nightfall. This does not seem like a great idea to be wandering around at night. Not gonna lie. Jesus Christ, where am I supposed to go for that matter? I hear stuff! It's making me very concerned because I hear noises all around me. That bridge was kind of out. I just jumped over. One of these days I'm gonna fail to jump and just gonna fall down and break my legs and die. A very slow, painful death and whoever's watching us is gonna be on the radio laughing, but he's not gonna realize that I have a new radio, so he, I can't hear him laughing, but he's just laughing at me. Like, you son of a bitch, you're gonna die now! I'm like, yeah, no, I know. Thanks for reminding me, asshole. It is beautiful out. If it wasn't, you know, me being afraid of a certain doom and death and everything, I would really appreciate this view a little bit more. Oh boy, oh boy. Crazy psycho murderer man? 
who listens to my very private conversations with Delilah. <gasps> okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. What, she doesn't want to talk about it? I want to destroy this thing. I want to break it. I've got an axe. I should just break it to bits. Then again, I should probably just stop breaking stuff every time I get mad at it. Oh. What is that? What is this? Oh. Hello? Now they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? And then there's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. Yeah. And wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. Nope. I mean, how the hell did they get all this stuff out here? The Army Corps of Engineers put our towers out here, so... You think it was the government? I have no idea. I, I just mean it's possible. I mean, every once in a while I'll need a lookout who's deep into that, like, black helicopter conspiracy shit. Ugh. Maybe they actually flew it out here in one of those. I'm gonna ruin their soil grid. I'm just gonna walk right through it. Fuck your soil grid. Fuck you, sir. Or ma'am, whoever, or whoever's doing this. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy shit! You know, you swear, like, a lot. I like it. Not the time, Hank. Henry! Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy... Holy shit, Henry. Yeah. Holy shit. You're gonna take it, right? Yep. Yeah, of course. Let me read these instructions. Well, put a, wait. Let me talk about uh, it. Okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. Wait, let me just put that away for a second. Green light equals target straight ahead, distance, light, strength of signal, tone equals source of signal discovered. Well, let me check the rest of the tent first. Sturdy leather belt looks heavy. Um, camp stove. I'm in their main tent. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does and then get the hell out. Wait, so it's... Okay. Shit. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my... Our people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Oh. I'm not sticking around to get hooked up to it. Yeah, no, that makes more sense. All right, well, let me get out of here because it seems that I should go find. Wait. Wait a second. So what? A... Follow the beeping device. Yeah. But it was taking me right to this, wasn't it? Distance to... <gasps> Here we go. Subject Delilah, age 43. 10 weeks. Reliable, observant, charismatic, selfish. No, I'm still reading that. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? Their assessments about the two of us. There's stuff in here about Julia. 
<gasps> like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? I hear you. Since you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Uh, okay. They are. How do they even know who he is? How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah. Fuck them. Let's do it. They'll dump an ocean of water on it, and these assholes will spend the rest of the summer picking up the pieces. We get to finish out our contracts. <laughs> Hell, we'll even call in the fire. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too excited about that. I'm not. Look, worst case scenario... We are trapped by the fire and burn alive alone in the wilderness. <sighs> Fuck. Yeah, worst case. Maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, I'm so fucking wound up! I noticed, yeah! Look, it's alright. I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Alright, let's head back to Two Forks Lookout. God damn, this is... Is the military spying on us? Whatever it is, they're, they're trying to manipulate us. You saw those reports. It said susceptibility to manipulation and she was a three and I was a nine am I really that susceptible wow government thanks really appreciate it Ugh. oh oh no oh no oh oh no oh shit yeah that's not good also um, Delilah there's smoke coming from the site I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed what the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. I didn't do it! It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? I don't know. We just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? What about them? The person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yeah, well, yeah. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Wait, it was just day 77. Oh, it's night. That's why. Missing person. Oh, I'm... <gasps> I'm making a whole board of... Oh, of everyone... Oh, Ron and Dave. NFS or working for them. Brian Goodwin. Goodwin's under surveillance too. Dear Psycho. Oh, yeah, there's a Psycho letter. Oh, it's all the letters I've gathered. Oh, and here's a teen note. Teen's note, actually a bear. Teen's in on it. Frame, it, frame me for attack. This is, this is getting nuts. This receiver just picked something up. It's like a signal. It's going beep beep. Beep beep. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. I guess right, so. I'm on my way now. All right. You know what I just picked up? Um. Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Oh. Are you drunk? No. I am getting drunk. Damn it, Delilah. Good plan. I'm a good planner. Damn it, Delilah. Yeah, she's already drunk. You can my tell. Stay up all night worried I'm gonna lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. My thinking is I'm gonna follow this wave receiver. Ooh, I like it when you think. Oh, Delilah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, no, listen, I'm still married. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. Yeah. The last thing I need is another big crossword breakthrough. Oh, I. Turned the radio off? Alright. I mean, I guess that's a good idea. That way I'm not interfering with the... The signal. That and so she doesn't bother me in her drunken state. Just follow the beeping. Is there someone out here with us? I mean, there must be if... I'm picking up a signal. Oh, I'm so concerned. Oh, what's going on in this place? 
Also, did she call the fire in or not? Did she call it in? What did they say? Can I see the fire from here? I can't. Uh, anyone down here? Wait, southwest, uh-huh. Hello? I'm coming up on it right now, it sounds like. Just, uh... <gasps> Found it. Shit. Oh! What? what the fuck is that? Ah. Jesus Christ. I had a heart attack. I thought it was a bomb. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, light camping gear, some clothes, and basics. But it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Probably is. Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took them? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. It's gotta be a trap. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. Lucky her. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. I do have that whiskey. I'm not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. <gasps> and it's not... You? No. It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. Okay, oh no, who's there? Oh, I have an axe, I'll just beat his fucking head in. Delilah, talk to me, is he still there? God, I'm gonna have another heart attack, aren't I? I am going to have another goddamn heart attack, I don't like this. There's no one here! I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Damn it, Delilah! Wait, a taped Walkman? Um... Alright. No! That's not good. They're blaming it on us! Tape of us talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh no. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. It was her idea, though. No. We are screwed. We're screwed. No. Yeah, we're screwed. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't freak out. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening, Henry? I'm sorry. 